Welcome everybody, welcome to Saunton Golf Club, the West Course here at Saunton Golf Club for another Break Pass series. Brought to you in association with Shotscope. All the information that you're gonna see from this particular video and all the other Break Pass videos is gonna include all the stats that Shotscope give us. The last Break Pass series we did was at Perrinporth. It was brutally tough. The wind was an easterly wind, just hard, really, really hard. Shot a score of 81, which was nine over par, which actually, to be fair, I was probably quite happy with that when we finished the round. Today though, it's pretty quiet. There's not a lot of wind out here, maybe half a club at the moment. And obviously as it's going through the evening, hopefully that wind will drop a little bit. I've got two big hitters with me this week. The current PJ champion, brother Paul. Did you just describe me as a big hitter? I would say you're a big hitter when it comes to trophies. I'm not talking distance from, but let's go with big hitter as in you've won a lot. Here. Where's the first tee and what's the course record, mate? The first hole, 344 off the tee that we're off, which is actually the white tee. We're going off the blue uh, markers, which is the championship course. 244 leaves you 100 yards, Paul. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, but hold on, is that, that's, that's measuring the dog leg. What, did you invite <laughs> me for this? You phoned him and said, we're playing tomorrow, come on out. That is a good point. It's just nice to actually play around the golf that James Roof's not involved with and we have to shoot like nine under par to... <laughs> okay, all right, challenge accepted. I've got um, forward. Forward. Shot. That's lovely. Little draw up the right, oh, bringing it back. Not, right, little chippy cut, three word off that little pole. Yeah, chippy cut. Yeah. It should kick in from there or it should go past it all. Yeah, off the cushion, yeah. was it? Yeah. In yeah. off. I got five wood, is that not enough here? Well, I don't know I why. A couple of five woods would be perfect on here, Dan. That's going a bit right. Similar line to me. You won't see that. It's up. It's it's a bit, bit tricky that, Dan. You'll be five. Huh? You'll be five. Driver, that's that's Bob on, but it's five wood. For a driver, wasn't it? Found it? Yeah, it was not a five wood for me. Dan's not in the ideal spot here. One five two, but off a serious ball above his feet off the top of the bank. Leave himself a little wedge in. It's comedy golf already. How many have you, well, how many have you had? Well, only, <laughs> only two, but I had to straddle this thorn bush. Did you get mine? Yeah, you're up just up there. One, three, five. Slightly uphill, but it's there's a little bit of a stool in wind there. I think nine is just right on my... Yeah, there's a, there's like a little Mackenzie just on the front of, just front of this flag here, Paul. Ooh, hands and arms shot. Nice, that, really good. That's good. That's well controlled, that. Got your butty? Yeah, cheese toasty. Uh, not the most relaxed and prepared to start to round of a brad. Might be fine to beat Paul. Uh, 121. 121, ball well above my feet, so I'm gonna have to choke down a little bit. Just gonna nudge forward a little trappy pitching wedge if I get it on that back tier. Oh, I like that. That's not going to be too far away from Paul's ball, I think. Short left, I reckon. Paul's giving, giving you nothing. There is an indication. Is that me on the bottom tier or you on the top tier? Unfortunately, you on the bottom tier, Joe. I like playing up the hill. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. Just up at the green, Joe's there. Mine up there. You can just see that Mackenzie that Dan was talking about here that's just in between mine and Joe's ball. Looking back down to Joe and Dan. Dan's got a chip up. Any sort of flight that lands it. In this portion, going forward gives you a good shot. Like that's all I'm thinking. I'm not thinking where I want to leave it because I don't have the skill to. We're allowed to uh, give advice and break par. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are you? Yeah, nice. Chipping up with a fifty. Really good. Following Joe's orders. Stay. Yeah, Pretty nicely good, played. Maybe nine feet, feet away. Good yep. from that, isn't it? I'll have it left in then, Paul. If you're just going to stand there, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, you cut yourself below the hole, didn't you? Mm. Good two putt, really, isn't it? I mean, that's all your fa you're not necessarily looking at holing that, are you? Yeah, I suppose. Well, we've got to get round because we've teed off at two o'clock. So we've got to get round. That's yeah. fine. You can take that away. We'll do inside my putter. Should we keep it inside your? You've got the shortest putter that's in the why world. We do inside my putter. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll know when it's Joe Cam from the trembling and the mere lack of focus. Little, little apology at the bottom of the screen. And talking of trembling and lack of focus, here's Paul for birdie. Oh, of course. Ooh. 
moved, didn't it? it? Wanted to wiggle that, didn't it? Take it away. Quite That's a bit of movement, that one. I don't get very many days around Sawn to me, you don't have too much wind. I text Paul earlier, moist and calm, scoring weather. Oh. That's about oh. as good as it gets, oh. Daniel. There we go, easy up there. Yeah. Never in doubt. What stat that's going to be? Yeah. All fours, chaps, all fours. See, nothing's changed over the winter, the putter still works. <laughs> 367 yards off this back tee, oh, look at that, another... Another house going in at the top there. What a view it is. When you drive up, there's a road that goes all the way up here above those houses. A stunning view of Saunton Sands and the golf course. It's not bad, is it? No. What's the run out, Joe? 251 in like straight up the middle of the fairway. So I brought a little bit too much. I'm getting a little cutty through, but I'm just going to start on the 150 on the left and cut it. And you've got the bank on the right if you overcut it, which is fine. Played it, absolutely yeah, played good. it. Will that get round the corner? Yeah, it'll just be round the edge, yep. Yeah. It's sort of bounce. 110, I reckon that does. That's perfect. Leaves you what, 110? 110, I think, yeah. Do your ankle in my divot there, please? Yeah, you don't get many divots off this back tee, do you? But it's not there, cause today there is a new one right in the middle of the tee. It's not used to seeing divots with wood, do you? That's me and Sergio, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shot that low. Uh, that's really good, isn't it? Yeah, that's spot on. I'll have a bit more yardage on mine because he didn't cut it, did he? It's just coming right up. Just the nice. Just that's down the there. left hand side. Shouldn't run out this. And there we have it. Just run out. That's good. No, just run. maybe. <laughs> Two five five run out. <laughs> we should be alright. Just. I don't know what Paul's been, I don't know what's going on at home, but Paul is very chirpy right now. Well, I quite like it. Must be something going on. What do you think the wind's doing there? Do you think it's down? Yeah, it's slightly weird then off the right. 131, one, I've got my 128 club. Okay, I like that. Which is my. What about what you think? Of what about the... eight, but it's landing on a bit of an upslope there, isn't it? Pitching wedge. Yeah. Um, is that allowing for temperature or? Not allowing for temperature, not allowing for wind. So we've I'm probably got about, what will be, 12 degrees, 13 degrees today. So. Yeah, I've never done that much for you, know, Right. It's just slightly right, the stick drawing back towards it. Give me a gaze today, Paul, shouldn't it? Oh, oh, go on then. Oh. Oh. I think we got the temperature right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't worry about that temperature. Should be a fun, fun little game today, hopefully. Well, you you perked up a bit, haven't you? Well, I've had to <laughs> play with you two. One thirteen's got a fifth. One thirteen. Four goes one away. Is what I said. Okay. That's why it's an awkward yardage for. Right, right, okay. All right, boys. Yeah. He's just not communicating well. Fifty-two degree. One thirteen. Helped it out the ground a little bit. We get another few yards out of it. That's it. Oh, steady, steady, steady. Too much zipperoo. Spin. Fresh grooves, Paul. Yeah. New wedges, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Four years old. You just cleaned them. Yeah. Come on then, Joe. Wow the crowds. Well, this is a tough, it's a tough school at the minute, isn't it? 108 is your 54? Yeah, but I've got 113. It's really awkward yardage, so I can't quite get 54 there. So I'm going to have to go down with a, a cheeky three-quarter 11 iron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you heard. Oh, oh, just come in, in off that shoulder a little bit there. Bank. No, it's missed it. Oh, that's so bad. Well, the boys have said pick it up because it's inside Paul's putter. Very good shot. Confuse Paul with all the numbers on the bottom of your clubs. Yeah. What that 50, Paul. Well, it's a little gap wedge, isn't it? Yeah. So the 10 is the pitching wedge, the, the 11 the is the... 46, I think, and then the 50, the 11's got 50. Yeah, I quite like it. Oh, tracking, wow. tracking, tracking, Joe. Okie dokie, take it away, that's your four. What percentage are you seeing there, Paul? That is not much. I'm under 1%, I'd say. Just at your left, our right. Just on sort of the edge, really, I think. Ooh. Oh. Well, you trusted your line, to be well, fair. It well, did move, it? didn't it, actually? I sense one of those days coming on already. Well, I would have said that was 1%. 465, Paul. Yep. Um, Par five. Par five, yeah. Um, ditch, ditch, kind of like it's like a dog leg ditch. It comes up the right off the tee and then follows kind of the hole up the left hand side. A couple of new, well, new looking bunkers. They're not new looking. They're not new bunkers. They're new looking bunkers up there on the right as well. Okay, going at the traps on the right. Those traps now. 
10k driver in hand. I have, yeah. Paul was um, mocking me earlier, saying it's for um, high handicappers, or the chopper driver as he called it, but I'm quite looking forward to... Uh, Bombing it past him. Proving him wrong, hopefully. Just got past it now, that 270 mark. <laughs> got to zoom in a long way today with this. Pretty good. Yeah, he's fine over there, isn't he? Don't get sucked in, Paul. I'm not, not trying not to. Yeah, that's Turn. good. Turn. If you like plug punky shots, you'll love this. Stop. It. Stop. Sit. Sit. Big up. Sit. Perfect. That's spot on. Who knows didn't yard didn't think I could reach that one. That's spot on. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. <laughs> West course to me is the friendlier out of the two. Do you know what? It used to be. Then they put another. Two, three hundred yards on it. I think oh right, okay. This, and now it's like, oh, right, there's some new tees out here that I'd not seen yet. Then. Well, I just remember it being a lot more different than it used to be. Oh like right. I put some sneaky bunkers in the way in certain places as well. Yeah. So, yeah, it probably is the easier, but it's certainly not a. It's still a championship course. I mean, so. at the end of the day, it's one of the best 36 hole venues oh. in the UK, isn't it? If I'd not, if not the best. It's got to be the best 36 hole links, links. setup in. Okay. England. I'd say I can't think of two courses that are well, no. this sort of standard, like two courses, because there's not much between them. Well, did you know that um, Burtdale yeah. used to own Hillside? Well, that would have beaten it. Yeah. But, um, but they are side by side, aren't they? They are, but yeah. But they're, um, they're not a 36 hole setup. So, yeah, it's, it's about as good as it gets, really, this setup. What's your number? 219. Five which should, should get there, really. As in, it might not. It might not land all the way, but it'll probably land just a shy. Well, how, how far does that one carry? It's about 215. If I really knuckle it, it'll, it'll get out of at 220 to 225. That oh, is actually, absolutely pure. Quite knuckly, to be fair. It's about eight feet. That'll <laughs> do. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. That'll do. That'll do me. Cats amongst <laughs> pigeons. Well, Hendrickson's go three, three, three. This wasn't in the script, was it, Joe? It wasn't in my script. Neither was this. Cheese and pickle, or cheese and onion. Nightmare. Shot scope telling me you've got 194 to middle, 181 to the front. It's fairway? Yeah, you're fairway, yeah. yeah. Absolutely fine. You run your, that's the, you um, your yardages again. No, that's the weight of the shaft and the grip. Oh, I see. Club? I've got five iron. All right. Squeaky <laughs> shoes, <laughs> isn't it? They are squeaky shoes, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> You'll be disappointed when that ends up on the Sunday morning show. <laughs> oh, really good as well. What is going on here, lads? Stay up. Very, very good. Just outside my five wood, but not You've bad. You've upset me, Dan. I've upset you. Yep. I see no ships. Joe, you must love coming up here and doing all your filming and messing about, oh. testing clubs, don't you? It is gorgeous. Like. Lots of uh, the other lads who do the testing sort of live inland, yeah. uh, like Midlands, so they're just squelching around. And like, look at this. I know. We've like had, you're in trainers. We've had the most ridiculous amount of rain, and we're just buggies. Just that, isn't it? For 163. Yeah. It's ever so slightly uphill, and what wind there is is hurting. I'm gonna. Would be an eight. I'm gonna try and hit a smooth seven just to make sure. To sort of get it back there. I'm right. A bit wafty, right? Same again, yeah. Same as the first one. Mm. Not on it yet. Joe got himself front right, but he's got putter, which is all right. Got a bit of slope to deal with, wandering up. There's Paul on the left, me on the right. Couple of eagle uh, opportunities there. Well, I've got a roller coaster here. I've got down, level, up, and then back down, and all gently off the right, I think. It's all about pace. Got the read right, Joe. Oh well, that's it all. Yeah, just on that, oh, just on over the top of that ridge that it goes, isn't it? Just Played that nicely. Very good. <laughs> all right. Uh, sorry. Try a bit harder, Paul. Not today. <laughs> Have you just clouted my putter there? <laughs> hmm? This brief uh, putter is <laughs> smashing it up. Thank you. It's chipped it a bit. Chip, what do you mean Fair. chipped it a bit? <laughs> oh, you have. <laughs> chipped it right on the toe there. That's it. Giving it a right little chip on the corner there. I've got some spray paint back at home, I'll sort that out for you. 
Thanks. I've seen your repairs. <laughs> I'd say no, Dan, if I were you. <laughs> you still definitely should have done a what's in the bag on your PGA Championship victory. Yeah. Like, not only were all the ferals hanging off, I've never heard a noise, the, they were all rattling. Like, I've never seen a bag of spanners like it. <laughs> you just leave my clubs alone, all right? <laughs> Happily. It's a must make, isn't it? It's good to have uh, stage. Down here, there's a pack to go three under. We'll be struggling here, Joe, in a minute. Don't you boys worry, all right? Don't <laughs> panic yourselves too early. <laughs> oh. I'm like that guy that gets really excited on the first night of a stag do and then you don't see me for the rest of the see, weekend. Pick him up at the air. <laughs> <laughs> Learned something from you there, Paul, a little bit. What did you learn? What did it do? Is it nothing. Death straight? I, I did say to you it was nothing. You were reading something into it that was well, not there. There he goes. Oh, three under. Oh, three under bird. through three. Big hey? Hotstart.com. Well done, well done. It's a good go. two putt from over there. Well Thank done. You, That's four under for us. Three on there. Mm. Well done, team. We got a bug on the camera. How do we get that off? It's still tied last with me. What's he doing, Dan? Get him off. Oh. You've misted it up now. It's alright, it's gone there. <laughs> 208 to the middle of the green from where we're standing. 204 playing, what did you say Paul, playing? 197. 197, I've got my... Down draft. I can probably play in 190. I've got my 188 club. Oh, perfect. Just need to get two yards of roll out of it and you'll be uh, four under. Oh. Where'd that one go? I missed that. Okay, so left. left. Can I? Can I, but yeah. no dramas. No drama. Hmm. Just wanted to play a little slidey one off that bunker and got a double. Just hit it, yeah, straight where you're aiming, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to bog standard six and hopefully not waft it right like my first two iron shots. Still done. a little right again, isn't it? Same again, yeah, got the wafts. Short right. Was kind of, if anything, Joe, would you want to be, be in that trap or you prefer to be? Um, yeah, I probably would. If you're pitching out that rough, it's downhill from there, it's quite firm, and you've got a bunker still here. Bunker's Ideally better. trap, but I don't think it's reached it. Oh, wow, that's terrific. Trapperoo. It's like bang on the left edge of that bush, obviously, not reached it, but that's the line. Back of the green looking forward, the boys located, Paul's actually got his in the hollow there. He's got his 58 degree wedge, as Joe said from the tee, there's not, there's not a lot of green to work with here and also it's slightly downhill from where they're coming from. So good from there, so good. Yeah, that's that down slope he's landed on there, won't get any spin out of that rough either. Joe's got himself a 60 degree wedge. Ball is well above his feet, so he's got to play for that as well. When the ball's above your feet, it's going to want to pop across you. So for Joe, it would have popped to his monkey see, monkey left. Do. Getting out that rough, not getting any control. But Dan's in a bit of bother. Played right. a very good shot. Bumbling about. Solid that, Dan. Yeah. Happy with that? Really happy with that. I was just such a bad lie that I had to get my 50 on it and chase it forward. Joe's leading the charge down the hill. Right line. Right, right. No, 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 that's so good. Go good joke. <laughs> <laughs> Never looked anywhere else. That was such a bad part. I wish I had <laughs> <laughs> kept my mouth shut now. I'd have looked like I knew what I was doing. Cool, about the same distance as me. I'm probably looking at 20, 25 feet for par. Just gonna go low. And we are definitely gonna see that, people. We are definitely gonna see that. Might be inside Adam Scott's putter, but not Paul's stubby little thing. Or his putter. Turn, turn. Not a bad putter. Paul's got this to stay level par, actually. Never in doubt. He's got the minerals, this boy. Okay. 412 yards the fifth hole. Joe, what are we seeing? 
Apparently the fairway runs out at 267 and starts again at 310, but it's like, I think if you hit it yeah, in yeah, the it's middle like a, bit, it's... Yeah, it's a, like a little junior area, small it's junior fine, area. isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. So it's... I assume Paul's thinking... Go over that. <laughs> That's perfect. Good, mate. I mean, I've never not hit driver down here, so I don't know why I'm thinking of... Well, you're in that yeah, junior bit now. No, no you're short lot. of that. Paul's short of that yeah, junior. Cleared the lot. Cleared the lot. That's all right, that. What are you thinking then? You think you you got 310 carry in you? It is slightly downwind. Yeah. Would you carry that? Like 305-ish, 300 okay. on the dot. Well, there you go. You just need to find another 510 yards. Oh, it's oh, another high slice. That. I'm not even going to zoom on that. Wow. Okay. I think it'll probably be all right because there's I another mean, hole over there, isn't there? But I'm going to... To be fair, that's where the flag is, it's a good angle in. Oh dear, Paul. Shot Trace would have picked that up down, wouldn't it? Might have run out of room. Might have run out. <laughs> <laughs> was you G'ing me up to it, dude. <laughs> like, did I do that? Do you know did I? I don't remember doing that. Yeah, nice little fairway finder straight down the middle. The June okay. Brothers. The June Brothers. Been in worse place than those Junes, I can tell you. Right, provisional tailor made two. Ah, oh, there we go. Floaty it's a bit floaty, is it? Is that the right driver for you, Joe? It really is, yes. Yeah, Paul. is stop, it? Stop messing my head, it's been <laughs> great. Is it one bad shot, leave me alone. Slight problems for Joe. 142 yards I've got to that flag. Yep. Don't want to go long. Yeah. Not want to go long. So 142. 138 is a nine iron. Because I've written them now. Right. On the back of my clubs. Yeah, I remember the days when I never used to remember my yardages. Pretty good, straight at it. Is it, is it gonna get there? Is it gonna get there? Yeah. It's not bad, he's found something. He's got, he found some balls over there. He's got a pocket full of them. Club pull, what you got? 130 and I got a pitching wedge. Should be, should be a really good number. Are you pitching wedging in the set now or are you going still on the no, specialist? still Vokey. 46? Yeah. Yeah, you're straight out my ball. Get up there. Stay there. Stay. Good leave that. You can see the drop off behind that flag. Dangerous spot. Sadly, Joe the Pro has not located first ball. It's not that sad, Dan. I'm used to it nowadays. So we're going, uh, provisional is now in play. So we are playing four. We've got 119. Wind slightly off the left. Paul will be pleased because it should be a nice smooth 11 iron. Hit it win, please. Just come left on him. Big steep pull. Scared of the wafts. Right, work to do. <laughs> and this is the reason why I was saying about going at the flag, you've got this huge sort of runoff just over the back and just left of it, of which Joe has found. Right, we need an up and down here, desperately. Lobby? Lobby, a little bit 10 foot on the green. Nibble up. In. Oof. Sit, 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 sit. Pull up the hill. What you got? Look at that. You're right. You seeing it? Yeah, I'm seeing it straight. On. Straight on. I'm back. Ooh, just tugged it a little up. bit there. I think that's inside your putter length, Paul. So uh, Good. moving on. All right, Dan. Yeah. Got it a little off, off the left here. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was kicking off that shoulder. Low is it holding on? Oh, it's not moving. It didn't do that. anything, did it? Wow. It's unlike you to miss those, Dan. What you got, Joe? I'm looking at, like every good pro, 12 foot for double. <laughs> <laughs> like all the big names. <laughs> but on the plus side, it shouldn't do much. Locked it. Ah, Go on, you can have that. Work cut out. Yeah. Work challenge cut out. out. Think of it as a Ooh. challenge. It's all right, don't worry. We'll Can be fine. We turn this off? No, no, we'll be yep. fine. We've got you loads can, of time. You've got this all under control. We'll be fine. Yeah. 404 yards, Paul. Joe wants to know why you're hitting driver because you're going to be smacking it into the dune area. Well, yeah, I don't mind the dunes so much. They're like, these dunes have got, uh, they're not thick, thick rough. Yeah. But if you get, I mean, I'm hoping to miss them. You can get kind of, you can go right at them a little bit and they should be okay. But if you go in them, it's not the end of the world. No, okay. 
I'd rather take the risk than having to lay back so far back and have a longer club in. So I'd rather yeah, a shorter you're taking the, the risk than earlier rather than later yeah. into the green. That's perfect, isn't it? Right here. I think you're absolutely spot on. It's at that second path, the one on the left, it's kind of down. the line. Yeah, you go, Joe. I wouldn't go any further right than that, though. Yes. It's nuked. Sort of in between the two paths, maybe. Smidge. Hey. Forgot about your smidges. Smidge, smidge, right? <laughs> Come on, smidger. It's in the um. It's in the dictionary, isn't it? Is it smidge. smidge? Little amount. Just a small amount. That was a Joe. Good. That's the same line as Joe's, maybe a <laughs> Joe. High right. Is it? Is it? I think it'll be okay. It'll is be it findable. right at the second path? Or? No, it's just it. on line with the second yeah, path. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't right, go any further right than that. Flat spot over there? Hopefully. You can move all of that. Well, you can't because it's attached. No, that's not attached. Or is it? No, that's, a, that's not attached, but that's attached. Yeah. Yeah, you can't move that. You're bordering on unplayable there, then, aren't you? That's, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So, it's an unplayable, which is... I go back in line, Dan, before you start there. looking sideways. There you go. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, profit. Another tailor made here. Profit. Yeah, I thought Callaways were the that most popular. That might be Joe's from the last hole. Yeah. There you go back. Where would it go back? Straight in a hole, I've dropped it. To be fair, five your dropping isn't five. very good anyway. A little five, wouldn't it? My lie was better in the bush. <laughs> oh, it's gone right and could be, could be in trouble there. That. Never saw it bounce. It's all unravelling, isn't it, boys? Joe, what we got? We've got problems, Dan. Uh, no, we haven't. We've got 125. No, I've got problems. You've got problems. I've got 125, middle of the fairway. With a bit of a cold wind hurting a little. So I'm actually going to play a cheeky little chippy nine. That's right on it, Joe. Yeah, I thought it might Spin. be a bit deep. Cool. Just jumped a little bit, didn't it? What you got, Paul? I've got 121. Okay. And I'm going to hit the pitch wedge. You got it turning. Go. Got to go. Got to go. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't spin. Go in. Go in. Take it. No, it's a bit short, mate. No, I think that's spot on, that. Very good. Now, have you calmed down yet? 63 yards. I have calmed down a little bit. I'm just a little bit disappointed. That's Are you? With, uh, just got to compose well, yourself down. Damage them. limitation. That's what we got to do. Try and up and down this and then escape and then reset on the next tee, yeah? Got to go, is it? Jumped up a bit. Pop a bit popped a bit. But right, it's not too bad. 12 foot maybe? Yep, that'll do me. That'll do me. You can have that pal now. Is that given? Thank you, mate. How far you got? <laughs> I haven't lasered it yet. <laughs> is it that far? Uh, it's a good 40 feet down a glass staircase. Uh, yeah. I'd certainly take a four about now. It's quite a long one, but it's at the hole. It's quite downhill, so it's tough to get it stone dead. That's all. Hit it. Tell you what. Tell you what. I think Joe's went past the hole, not really moving a lot. Smidgen. It's smidgen. Some up and down. <laughs> what a smidge. What was what was that in the end? Have we worked that one out? Hot. I think it was, was a birdie. Was that... I think it ended up as a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> no, no smidging on that. I mean, you think a smidge should only have moved to the edge and then probably fallen in. Okay. You know. Okay. Anyway, there we go. 